vacation. We just took a girls trip to Lake Huron to go fossil hunting. Lake Huron is full of fossils. So I'm just gonna look here and see if I can find one. Oh, here's one, it's not a very good one, but this is a capacity. Kind of a nice day today. It's like 40s, 50s. Ooh, what are you? Are you something? They kind of look pudding esque. I think it's a pudding stone. Is that Jasper? Big piece. I forget what the other part of the pudding stone is. You know the blue part? Somebody please comment below. But I don't really see that in this one. I don't have a ton of pudding. Oh, and as I say that, something sticks out to me right here. Can you see it there? pudding stones. So I like to walk by like walls. This might be a horn tomorrow. So that is horn coral. That's a nice big one there. They kind of look like big mushrooms, right? Like the underside. I think I'll leave that. And then this is also some fossils here. You can see the quartz really well because it like leans and glows, even when it's not very sunny. It's like somebody wanted to leave some rocks for us. I think this is a big rock that's partially a task and you don't really know if you let it to reveal its secrets. one is fossil soup. So it's lots and lots and lots of fossil soup. Just trying to learn. I think that is something. Leave that for the next guy. We've been collecting a lot of fossils. Right, Boo? Oh, here's a potassium. You guys see it? you want to go agate hunting? Oh wait, maybe that's a fossil. And here's another potassium. They just kind of pop out at you over here. <laughs> I'm used to um, going hunting on Lake Michigan. And I don't know. I might go too late in the season though. I usually get there by July or August. Pretty picked over by then. So I kind of like look at the water and soften my gaze to see if anything pops out. I have found capacity stones like in the dry area, but it usually takes me a bit more effort. Is that an imprint? Yeah, 
fossil imprint. I keep walking to the edge there. Like I said, it's the last day of vacation. We are pretty rock hunted out. I want to buy waiter boots. Again, it's not a super pretty one, but, or, you know, store quality one, but I like them nonetheless. Doesn't mean I'll take them home, but I like them. Is that a pudding stone? What is this? I don't think it is. Yeah, I think that's a stain. It doesn't look. Yeah, nope. Doesn't hurt to look though, right? I bet I'm gonna look at this video later and be like, why didn't you see this thing? I'm gonna walk slow. Here's a little piece. All right, this might be a pudding stone. I have a feeling somebody found it and threw it back. So, sometimes it helps to kind of dig in the sand a little bit, and that's where I found cutie pie. Some people like the ones where you can really feel the ridges, you know, where it hasn't been filled in yet. Others don't. That's not the kind that um, I think people typically like. Look at this, guys. I love these things, these horn corals. I'll leave this one behind. Oh, here's another horn coral. Look at that. Just imagine the life, <laughs> sea life, the coral, all of those things on what we now know as Michigan. <laughs> Are you a mermaid? Hi, mermaid. And my daughter's been such a good sport because I am probably <laughs> more into it this than she is. I think she just likes to come and see the, the rocks. Oh. Yet. It's a little one right here. <laughs> Watch it roll away because I'm doing this one handed. And it's funny because, you know, the other side of the Kaski is what just, you know, just like a regular stone. So on my bucket list of rocks to find the science agate someday is to go and find the Leland Blues. Cool. I have no idea what this is. It's like green gray. I'm gonna keep it just little. Little and cute. Is it itty bitty? See, doesn't hurt to look in the little rocks too. This little itty bitty guy. Hopefully we're focusing. Look at that. So cute. And here's another one. Another um, coral. This is a coral. So, like here. Oh, I hear somebody getting in trouble up there. Not listening to her mama. Look at that horn coral. And then, kind of a cool looking rock. Get the texture. Mm. Somebody get in big trouble. Sometimes I just think rocks are cool because they're hinds. Don't ordinarily take bigger size rocks home, but look how beautiful. I mean wow. Nature. Nature is a wonder. 
And I think my daughter's done with the, the fossil hunting. Oh wait, what is this? So I saw a couple of things I wanted to show you. This is another horned coral, I think. I could be saying the wrong thing this whole time. And then, what is this? Is this? I don't know if there's striations in there. I don't know. I don't know if we can find agates this far south. I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure people have done so. So, no. Okay, so now we're going to show you our finds. We have pudding stones, I believe. Open up these here. Spitassi. Like here. If that's the striated rock I showed earlier. Here. Some really cool. I don't know what this is, but it's just beautiful. It looks like quartz, actually. Horn coral, I think. This one's probably one of my favorite Potoskis. It's still kind of faded, a little bit damaged here, like on the other side. Super cool coral there. And the corals, the greens. I found this red one. I don't know what it is. Maybe granite? Um, a nice piece of granite. I wanted to show you. It's like this brown orange. And then this is so cool. Look at that. So yeah, that's our finds for today.